Imagine you walk into a pre-furnished apartment. It's up to you whether you want to rearrange the furniture, hang posters, or just crash in front of the TV and put on a feel-good movie. Starting off with a new Nextcloud instance has the same feel to it. What are you supposed to do first? Nextcloud as a web service is unique because it is, in all reality, a platform for independently developed applications. The amount of applications that are available to install is staggering and continues to grow every day. A vanilla setup of Nextcloud comes with a few of these applications pre-installed. Like any other applications, they each have a number of settings that can be tweaked in order to change their functionality, and that's in addition to Nextcloud's already numerous amount of built-in settings. So as a diving off point, let's take a look at three things to do right out of the gate after getting your new Nextcloud instance. The first thing to be aware of when managing Nextcloud is that all the deleted files actually are recycled for a period of 30 days. So as I delete those files, they're stored here until ultimately the rest of them are deleted permanently. The next thing on a Nextcloud instance that I would change would be to disable the recommendations screen up at the top here. That's easy enough by going to settings and unchecking showing the recommendations. Now, to dive into the rest of the settings, uh, we're going to touch on something that probably you saw coming, and that was enabling the dark theme mode that Nextcloud has by default. So when I turn off my global dark reader, it still looks workable. And as a bonus, I did want to point out that the support page under the administrative settings has links to the Nextcloud forum, their GitHub, and their chat if you ever run across any troubles. This is where members of the broader Nextcloud community can be found at any one of these three places. So while the power of Nextcloud lies in the extensibility of installing applications, there is plenty to get excited about right from the get-go. Let us know what the first thing you do with your Nextcloud application is on the Arcompose subreddit. And if you're ready to dive into Nextcloud for yourself, sign up for an instance today at arcompose.com.